How lovely to see you. Okay. Should we assess where, where we're at on the trust scale? <laughs> are we in the start. full trust zone or are we not? Da, 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 da. Okay. How you doing? You froze? Yeah. I'm doing good. I feel a little tired in the moment. Just uh, got hit by a wave of tiredness. Internet's slow, eh? Um, yeah. Bummer. Um, is, my, not, is my connection pretty bad? It's it's just a bit slow. It's speeding up a little. I'm on Salt Spring. Oh. How are you doing? Uh, would good suffice or something a little bit more in depth? I don't know. I can turn the door. <laughs> um, I feel optimistic. I feel pretty creative. Working on quite a few cylinders. I feel a little bit of pressure. Probably the largest I feel grateful. Really? I have the life that I have. Yeah. <laughs> you do have a pretty good life. Yeah. What's, the, what's the pressure from? Um, <laughs> the pressure is from. It's when uh, it, it's for me being ahead of myself. Like it's not an externally enforced pressure. It's like an internally generated pressure. Does it ever always have that? I don't, I mean, I, I imagine to different degrees, but you know, the pressure for me is not like, I don't have people that are like pressuring me. You know, like, you know, like, get this done, do that. Like, can you be more like this? Or, you know what I mean? Like, I don't have those external pressures. Internal pressure more is like, I feel the, what I've set out to do and the different opportunities and what's manifesting. I feel the pressure to really be on my game, my A game, really. I need to be on my A game. That's what I feel like, that kind of pressure. Uh, well, that's a good pressure. I think so. It's a healthy pressure. I think when I think humans in in general, you know, th there's this external pressure and internal pressure, and, and I guess it's it's what what motivates you. Like, does it motivate you or demotivate you? Yeah, I, I'm motivated. Uh, yeah, it sounded like you had some. How are you doing? I'm all over the map. I'm, I've, uh, yesterday was, was a, was a, like a pulse in a, in a darkness. Like it feels like there's, there's this global eco darkness. And yet there's these pulses that kind of like, there's certain moments where you kind of see the light and then the darkness comes back in. And I, I find I get very emotionally embroiled in the larger darkness and when i when i associate with that oh it's bad and then i have the a pulse and then it's like oh wow I'm, I'm back on track and so it's i i go back and forth between those things mm -hmm. are you still with chinoa yep 
you're, you're, you're living with her at her place still? You guys are doing all right? Well, I think, I think if you look at every relationship as the pressure to spiritually evolve, then every relationship is great. I mean, uh, I think we come together for reasons. And when I think we both have the gene key of 55. So that's a big one. Like that's, that's the societal gene key. And so to have it at a personal level, I mean, you were the first person to call me a victim. You were the first person to say, get out of that victim mentality. And sometimes we, yeah. we, send, we, we send each other arrows of truth that, you know, with politeness and all these other things kind of stop us perhaps from saying things that are necessary. And so that was a, that was a minor wake up call for me in, in a sense of going, what the fuck are you talking about? <laughs> right. It had me look at my victimhood a lot closer and the, and really that gene key really just, it puts it right there, right? It, it shows you this is what you are not willing to look at so it's uh the gene keys are always great reminders to focus consciousness and it's the human dilemma you know yeah yeah totally totally yeah they are good a lot of people are getting more and more into them especially the younger ones you know the youth they love the gene keys you know it speaks that psychological language to them in a way that they're just like you know, they're looking for answers and the gene key is just giving them good questions, you know. <laughs> I mean, imagine if you were given the gene keys at the age of like 18 or 16, you know, or 50, yeah. you know, like. Oh. It just, it's an amazing body of work. <laughs> so what projects are you working on? We got frozen again. Hello, hello, hello. Hello. Um, I am. Can you hear me? Is yeah. A lag no, no, I can. There is a bit of a lag. longer line. Hello, everyone who's watching. Hello. Hey. Go back. You don't like uh, the backgrounds in Zoom, do you? Well, you know, when you ask that, um, don't even know how to. I don't see any background option in this. If you go to, are you on your phone or your laptop? I'm on my laptop. Okay, go down to stop video, lower left. Yeah. Press the button, choose virtual background. Oh, okay. I just think someone who's so aesthetically uh, aware that you would put so little attention to your background. It's so true. And you know what? Thank you for saying that because I have this beautiful painting I haven't put up and I just need to put it up <laughs> so that I have a nice background. Yeah. I mean, it's like right behind me. These days, a really nice painting. Backgrounds are like clothing, right? I mean, it's how, how many? I don't how many, have a background. How many stories have you done in the last month? Oh, a bunch. You haven't been watching? I guess not. You don't send them to me. I mean, I've, no, I'm I actually, you know, I'm just, I'm actually, I'm lying. I haven't done a single story. 
Ah. <laughs> yeah. I think I track pretty good. If I see them, I usually share them or whatever or watch them. So you you do track well, yeah, it's true. I, I don't I haven't done any stories. I've been so um not sharing much at all on social media, actually. Where's my back? I need a good background. What's my background? I don't know what to put. Um, Just throw any image up there. Anything's better than what you got now. <laughs> That's true. Um, I know what I want. Let's do. Okay, background add. Download desktop. Look at that. Were you? Did you download these backgrounds? No, these are just images. things I, just things I picked and. I don't know. Like I, I must sometimes I, I I just don't understand human beings where they would prefer to have a background of an apartment and their living room rather than anything they could choose in the world. But I guess it's the yeah. people don't like the funniness around the head. But for me, I'll, I, I'd will i much prefer the funniness around the head to get something like this in the background. It's weird. Everything I have has been deleted because I, it's a long story, but I literally, I don't have anything on my computer right now. Like everything's gone. I don't have a single image. What? It's crazy. I know. This is weird. Um, what What about that same background that you use for all of your uh, marketing stuff? Why don't you put that there? That must you still must have with that there. <laughs> <laughs> you notice? Well, I use that for everything. <laughs> I, I I I hold back so much on jabs uh, at you. Say what? I hold back so much on jabs. I just, if I was in my natural state, I think I'd be jabbing everyone just whack, 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 whack. But then I'd be getting whacked too, so. Oh, I had a whack for you, don't worry. So you go for it. I'm holding mine. I'm waiting for the moment because I've been saving this one for a little while. So. Oh, it's a bad one? It's a, it's a king of hypocrisy? I'm, but I'm so open game. Yeah. This, this, <laughs> I'm open game. There's, there's a huge difference between you and me. Uh, no, no. There's a huge difference between me and you. Yeah. You don't open your. We're in two different worlds of, of. Uh, what would I say? What's it? Well, I'm just such an easier target. Um, okay, I guess if you say so. I found an image. Save an image as uh, background. You must be meditating a lot. I always find that when I when I tune into you, your pace, I have to calibrate to the pace. And the you're at such a slower pace. Okay. Right? Is that is that is that a nice Nice way of saying, can you hurry the hell up? Or... <laughs> well, I don't know if now you're going to get it. The backhanded jabs too, the front hand jab and the back and the backhand jab is the front and the back. <laughs> Oh. You got the picture yet? Fuck. <laughs> <laughs> it it doesn't work. Get your lighting better, mate. It doesn't work. Can you put a light on here? It says I need it. It says I need a green screen. Nah. I don't have a green screen and I got a crappy background. 
You just need lighting. You, I need, need, you need one light that's no. right, shining on your face. Well, I don't have that, and it says I need a green screen. That's what it says. But I can see what happens when I do that without a green screen. No, you just need better. I look like a uh, buddy. Well, we'll have to wait. I'm sorry to disappoint you with my lack of aesthetics, but I actually did have a custom Zoom background design for me. I could download it and try it. Yeah. Yeah, there's a guy that does them, but they're actually Zoom rooms, which I realize is not what I want. Like I paid for this thing, but there's a, Zoom has something called like a room. They yeah. do. So you get an actual virtual room to be in, um, which which I don't have. Anyways, so long story short, here we are. Um, Elijah, what I wanted to talk to you about, I had, I had talked to Prashant the other day. I told him about, you know, he's designing his system. And, you know, I think it would be really awesome for him to have a divination function in it. Um, for meetings, it's like he's trying to do personal productivity, but take it with meetings and stuff to the next level, right? And his whole thing is elevating consciousness through through productivity and project management. That's sort of his work. And um, I think it's great that you're doing the choose a remedy. Um, visually, it's nobody's going to want to use it, but as long as the you know code base. It's just we're in a world that has such a high um, expectation of. Um, Have you seen the latest one? I I can open it on my computer. Uh, I've opened it on my phone and it doesn't work on the phone. No, no. I mean, are you talking about the first version or the second version? I mean, just just generally, I, I did open that. Let me. I'm opening the third one right now. Choose a remedy. Write a question, pick a question. I mean, I like that there's a hot woman on the front. I mean, that's definitely a plus. I'm using it. It takes a while to load. Yeah. Okay, so um what do I need to learn right now? Great one. That was my question. And I got inspiration, presentation, and communication. Huh. It's exactly what I need to learn right now, actually. I feel that I've got so many inspiring things I'm working on. I need to learn how to present, present and communicate them because I'm working on it. Yeah, exactly. I need to learn. So I love this, right? So this is so helpful, right? So imagine if it was integrated into a project management system it would be epic, right? Right. Which I think Prashant will do. But the challenge, Elijah, is I feel like of all people prone to self-sabotage, you're very, very high on my list. Right. And it was pretty remarkable that the year started with you putting out a call to all these people and everybody showed up. Like, who would have thought? Right. Now, the numbers dwindled significantly, I imagine. I don't know, since I was in the room last, but I don't know. what What's your numbers from before? I don't know how many people. The no, I mean, everyone's called in. The only people who aren't really participating are you and Ramayan. <laughs> I mean, everyone's still, everyone's still in, pretty much. You're frozen again. Oh, yeah? Okay. Yeah. Um, sorry, there's someone else who's trying to have a meeting with me right now. Uh -huh. One second, let me just send a message.
Um, anyways, long story short, you know the story. You've got so much capability. If it's true that I'm the only one, I don't know. Maybe there's a lot of work happening in the behind the scenes. I need to check the email thread or Facebook group more often. I have no idea. I really don't know. Well, you're not uh, tracking, if it, if it's right? still just. A, I'm not tracking. So that's what I'm saying. I really don't know. So you're, I, I you're don't making know. an there assessment maybe, based upon no investigation. And coming across like a complete wet blanket. I mean, you basically just. No, I mean, the last. The last, the last meeting that I was in, I did voice what I felt, what I, I, I felt, which was that at my experience with projects as such, which is if there's a goal that's specific that we're all working towards, it needs to be clear what that goal is. You're way too slow. I'm not hearing you. And I didn't make a last meeting, and I'm sorry for not informing you about that. I, di I just didn't hear the last three sentences, I think. Can you hear me now? I can't. You just, it's, there's a, Hello. this seems like a bad connection, I guess. It's kind of annoying. Yeah. Unfortunately, it does that. Um, now we're back on track though, right? Okay, yeah. Um, what, uh, I talked to the founder of, uh, to the Bramble people as well. And what I feel like I need is exactly this, which is what I need to learn. Inspiration, presentation, and communication. Like, you know, what, what is, what is going to be created? Like what's being done? That's very simple and tangible. I could say to Prashant or these people being like, this is what this is. Here's a PDF. It's a one pager or a Miro board. Like this is what's needed. What's being created. Like, I can't tell them it's a very secret plan and it's going to change the new planetary operate economic system and no, you that doesn't fly. I get that, but you can send them what it what, what you're just looking at right now. I mean, it's functional. It, I think it's great. I mean, it's a start. You know, there's yeah. there's nothing like it on the internet. Nothing even comes close to it. And you know that, like, I mean. Noah is the first person who's a programmer who's actually just followed my my suggest my design and is giving me a working copy. I've never had that. You know, look what I mean. I got a working copy. I got a prototype. That's I think freaking amazing. Like it just answered your question. I mean, imagine millions of people using that. Just that, let alone everything behind it. You know, the, 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 the tables have always worked. The divinations have always worked. Yeah. I've never had a divination in my life using these tools that didn't work well, where the people didn't go, wow. Like never. It always gives an insight that most people are lacking. You know, show, show me a tool right now that's doing that. Yeah. What's the state of Prashad's uh, project management system? He's in design phase. He's not in build yet. He's still in design phase. You know, the three of us should have a conversation. Yeah. I mean, I, if he's at design phase, he's, he's doing blueprints of software. You don't think I could help him with that? You don't think if whatever he's working on got connected into whatever I got, you don't think that would work well? Like Zamir, you, you got it. I think it could potentially. Like you know? the, the thing which I don't know, which you don't give me, like I'm not angry about it, but you're so, 
you have no idea of the value of what I've created. Like you could, you constantly just give me, you know, you know, it's, it's, it's like you're one day when it's built, I'll tell you. And I say, this is this and this and this and this. I've been telling you all this time. You just can't hear me. I'm wait, like, I'm at another place what? and I'm trying to, I'm trying to show you something. And each step along the way, you're telling me like, oh, this is no good. You don't know what you're doing. Look at nobody's listening to you, but you're not listening. You just, you're, you're about the only person you or Mayan are like the only two people on this planet that even have any idea of what I've done. And because you guys don't value it, you, because you're the guys who can t tell other people what it is. You're right. Well, like, I mean, I think if I stood in front of people right now and somebody put a hundred people in the room, I could stand there and I would fucking blow those people out of the, uh, anyone. Anyone I talk to now, when I really get like, I have less CL foundation right now who is going, this is great. We love you. They're putting it in their program. And the, do you know what happened is I stayed in it. I didn't disassociate. And I didn't say I'm walking when I felt like I was being insulted. Yeah when I felt I wasn't being listened to, but I was just in this process with these people and I just sort of went, went along with them. And I got through my shadow elements and it's like, they're finally going, holy shit. And I'm just showing them pieces I, of it. I think that's great. If you can do that, wonderful. Based on my past experience with you, both Ramayan and I are hesitant to introduce you to anybody for, well, then, for then, whatever then, reason, because It'll start a little bit and then it'll be like, if they'll drop this and you'll be somewhere else or some other thing will be happening or you'll lose interest or you'll be insulted hey, or Zemir, won't, Zemir, they won't get what you're doing or whatever. Zemir, and, and, Zemir yeah. stop the fucking story, okay? You, there what was. What do you mean? I'm just telling you my I'm experience. saying I've had tw two chances in my life where I felt that there were, the people were ready and the situation was ready for me to present whatever it was. And I obviously wasn't ready in terms of the ability to communicate or the confidence or saying, I'm the guy who's got the answer, not you guys. None of you guys have a fucking clue how to do this because I'm too angry inside going, I spent my time with you Zamir for a reason. Every person I've ever spent time with has been for a reason. I don't see other people doing it the way I do it. I just don't. They always have the veneer. They always have the social. They always keep the person away and, and hide behind the social veneer. I show myself everything you saw about me. This is me. You're seeing me as a raw human being. I'm not hiding. Because I want you to go. You watched me do what I did because when it becomes created, when it is what it is, no one will see me for who I am. You saw me for who I am. I lived with you. You know the goodness of my heart. Okay, no, Elijah, no, I'm man, just saying, I, I, Zamir, honestly, Zamir, just wait. Do you question the goodness of my intention? No, of course not. But Do you, you think, know what? Am I, the am I a liar? It's never, been the que it's never been the debate. No. Am I a liar? Am I deceitful? Am am I just, I, listen, am I I'm scamming? not your mom. I'm not your mother. And I'm not your fucking father. Just you listen to this because I'm not. Okay. You can't come to me and be like, I have a great heart. We know you have a great heart. You're always welcome in my home. We love inviting you into our home. We love you. We treat you with respect. We see who you are as a person. But at actual working together, inviting people to like, a business relationship and building something's a different thing. And I'm sorry, but Ramayan and I have been burned a number of times. And you don't want to acknowledge it, fine. And if I you burned think you. Just making up a story. I burned you. Exactly. You think, you okay, I have think, an idea. I think you burned me. So we're in a crossroads. I know here. that's what you think. Exactly. And you've had that vision. You've had that story going so many times. And you brought it to me a number of times to the point where you've, Shut us out and you won't communicate to us anymore. Elijah, that's not unknown to us. Okay. And you go through your phases where you just cut us off because you're so pissed off 
because you feel like you burned us and you don't want to communicate with us anymore, right? And then you send angry yeah. messages or whatever. I'm just saying it's not new to me, Elijah. I hear yeah. where you're coming from and you've expressed it a number of times, right? Okay. But you don't want to hear, it feels to me that our side be, is offensive to you, right? Which is our experience of what's happened a number of times. It's not that you're not brilliant. It's not that you don't have wonderful intentions. You have both those things. You're a genius and you have great intentions. I don't have any doubt of either of those two things. And I never have. And I've always communicated to other people about you in that way. I've never communicated otherwise. Okay, so what am I doing that's off? Enough. What? Intention in your level. I'm not hearing you. The I can't hear you. Uh, Zoom just. Uh, okay, now I'm hearing you. Okay, so just the last two, one minute I have it. Tell me. Hello? Hello? Is it caught up? Yeah, I switched to my phone. Okay, that's good. Yeah. Um, good, it was getting hot, so it's probably good that we got a little pause. <laughs> getting, getting hot in here. Okay, well, anyways, I'm sorry. I, I did project onto you, and I have been not too kind in the way in which I've communicated. It's honestly not my value. So uh, there's a difference between directness and... Um, and that being said, it feels like stakes are high nowadays. They're just, they've always been high, but it always just seems to be more so. And there's real things happening. And, and, and you know, what's happening with La Ciel, I'm super happy that that seems to be actually really progressing. And with this program that you're creating with Noah, I think like, you know, this kind of thing needs to be brought into a project management system, like what Prashant's doing. And so I think presenting this to him and connecting you guys, I'm happy to, but my only fee my only request is that the scope is articulated in a way that's like reasonable from the beginning, because what can happen is scope becomes massive and then there's overwhelm, okay? And that just brings, it, it everything's fallen apart so many times as a result. So I, I feel like it needs to be really, this is the scope. Okay, well, what's going to be developed based on that? And, you know, from there, even with the Bramble people, like, how do you want to use it? They only have a really simple interface. So it's like, if you want to use it, they'd be open to it. There is a cost to it going ahead in the future. So there's no point in really developing for that unless you see 
Wait, Br- Br- what are you talking about, Bramble? Um, I just mentioned them, but I, I talked to the people there and they're bring, allowing people to do like a beta test event, but they're going to start charging for the service, like a hundred bucks a month or something like that for 50 people. So, you know, I mean, this is, and- this is that program where you, where you move in the place. Exactly. Yeah, but, but that, so you are talking to, you have, you have I access to, to I just talked to them today and they're going to give me access to spin up a world because I'm planning to use it for this, for experimenting to build a world for a yoga program. But right now where they're at is their, um, they won't allow you to create an avatar. They won't allow you to customize the world. Like you can't do anything with it yet. It, it has to just be used as what it is. How like many, can, how many people are there? um like working for them yeah i have no idea like under 10 are they like a mini startup kind of thing or do they i don't know i didn't even ask i mean to to me you're you're talking you're you're examining it from the point of view of the user what could happen rather from the point of view of getting in with them at the design state and really understanding what they're trying to do what they want to do and what they could do because because the just having what they have and if we just put conversation rooms right here's the brainstorm room here's the healing room whatever we just did that they won't let you do it right now no they I, won't I allow you to change anything i but know in the future that will be a possibility and that would be amazing like once they said a few months down the road you'll be able to customize a room or you'll be able to do that so when that time comes that would be very interesting and I think that that would be a great interface for a project management system to be able to go and do that. I mean, You're it's, totally on point. I, I just, it, I just, like you're sort of, what I'm hearing is you're not entertaining the possibility that I or we or you could get them really excited about, you know, having some sort of joint venture where they're getting help and having like the, the, what I've seen with the shared knowledge community in general, just that is, is it's, it's a testing. If you can get 150 people to test something from a software point of view, that's fucking huge, right? Like, I mean, you're that's the hardest part is to get a whole bunch of people to test it and to tell you what works and what doesn't and, and how to quickly get into your feedback mechanism of improving your product, right? But Elijah, they just got it. They just got featured in Fortune magazine. They get a hundred emails from people a day wanting to use their platform. They're not like hungry for testers, in that sense. Like they're, it's not like they're in that place where we can just. They, if we want to use it as a world to spin it up, they'll let us do one event in there and get no, feedback. Yeah, I, and I and I'm not suggesting because that doesn't exist right now anyway of being the testers. But I'm just, I'm just. I just sense a kind of block within you around communicating with them in such a way that there might be more possibility. It's like how you talk to them now is huge because once they, once they get going, they're going to be so fucking busy, right? If they're still at the state of they're, they're still designing stuff, then you might have the ability to, to, ha- to talk to them. Like if someone came up to talk to me now and they're presenting something, you know, it's very different from trying to get to me in two years when everything's going. But if I'm just at the beginning of getting something going, you're more open to kind of chat. And at that stage, you can really create some collaboration at a design level. That's what you want. I mean, to me, nothing else exists. I'm not thinking about things from the point of view of a user. I want to be you know, either designing from what they've given me or designing from, you know, helping them to design something that integrates all, I mean, integration is the key, you know, and, and what I'm saying to you is the language structure is the integration reference point. Yeah. And just what you show me two things, you know, two great things of going again, just getting human beings to go into a room where now it's designated brainstorm you know, that's, that's the huge jump for the species. It's not all the other stuff. That is just that alone. If we can go, here's a brainstorm. 
and then move them into critical analysis, and then move them into design specs. You know, just that movement, that is the most valuable thing there is in all software. And everything is about human communication. Everything is about human communication. Is it making it better or worse? So, so I guess my interest, would, my request would be, if we're going to connect with Prashant, and I think we just have a call with him, you can hear what he's doing with his system, his vision, his design. Like, I don't know yet. I mean, I haven't had him do that for me. And I think it would be really cool to share with him a couple of ideas that you feel like, okay, this is how I would like, how you would integrate it. Like, here's a divination tool. Let's show him the website and just say, this is like a really simple beta thing that you're just trying out just to show, pick a question. Here's some cards. And then, you know, exactly what you said about a map, about project product design. Like, here's how, here's a process that people would go. How do you program this into your tool? Because right now, Elijah, trying to get people, you're, you have to go out to the people that are doing it and have the resources in building. You're not going to attract them to you to build it. Or if you consider that me to have a perception and a block around you, I'm sorry, I don't mean to put a spell on you, but I'm only telling you what I see and it, I don't see it happening that way. Well, I mean, like you're not the attractor being for people to come and programmers and money and all that. I feel like it'll probably be you integrating with people that are already building and doing it, but you have this very unique cognitive landscape ability and you can program those things and you have that ability to do that. But it has to be aligned with what your vision is. Right? Well, I, I, ideally, I, I would suggest that it isn't the attractor is not me it's the team the attractor in the larger way at some point will be the idea when yeah. team and different people have the same kind of idea then that's what's attractive i mean right. like what you're missing is that every person who came to that meeting who's there like again i spent years with like lori has had the card since you know, for 10 years, Lara, I spent three years with, you know, like each person there isn't just some, oh, I, I, you know, I sweeps doing something, I'll show up. No, they're there because, and now the time is right. I mean, how could you have imagined the world to be as it is right now? <laughs> like, like whatever I've been trying to do was way ahead of its time. It, it could not no matter what, whatever, whatever I say about you guys, whatever I say about the world, whatever I say about me, I could probably assess right now that it, it was impossible in any degree. But now looking at the world right now, I'm going, it's not impossible anymore because the world's fucking shut down. There's 100 million people out of work. And as you said, there's no better time for a job creation system or something new to come in because there's nothing there that's, you know, what's appealing to the conscious human beings. And that's why, like, to me, Lucielle, the reason I'm connecting with them is they have pure of heart. They're, no one there is being paid and they're in the same situation we're all in, but they're actually, they, like, they gather 12 spiritual elders. That to me is a good sign. They're on the right, like, I want to collaborate or integrate or connect with people who have a high spiritual aim and they're actually true to it. You know, I, I haven't been going out in the world trying to get this going. Is it, money's not going to make it go. I mean, money will make it go, but money will not. Money is not, I've watched it. Money does not make sure that the good thing happens. It's the character of the people. It's the vision that they hold. It's, it's the true intention of the people in their heart. And if that isn't there, well, you're just going to create a bunch, whole much more shit for everybody. But the Lysiel people, they, man, I mean, they have a high aim. So, I mean, one thing I think that, you know, if, if both of us, let's say, examine the past and constantly bring it up in terms of, you know, residue, I'm willing to give it up if you are. But I'm also willing like this to have a little bit more honest conversations about what we think is possible or what we're even doing. Because, you know, we haven't actually worked together to make anything happen ever. Right? Yeah. Where there was actual trust, where we actually 
you know, we're building respect where we go, okay, you know, if I'm inviting Zamir to a meeting, it better be a real meeting. And if you're inviting me to something, I'm showing up and I'm not just showing up, you know, I'm taking it very seriously. And now like with Lucille, they were, they were filming me and they, then they just, it was just like everything I'm doing, it's on the spot because I spent so much time in it. I mean, I'm, I mean, this work is within me. It is integrated now within me. I don't have to make it up. It's there. It's there, like it's, it's there. And when I'm presenting to people, they're going, hey, good idea, good idea. I like that, good idea. And, and I think for you, let's say with Prashant or anybody, like it is a team thing. I, it's not a me thing, it's not at all. And I mean, if, if you're like, whatever he has as a project management system, you know, he's creating a software. So I see the inflow matrix as just the connection between all these software systems that don't connect and creating something that actually is usable for the user to use as a, a individual, a team and a community to hold software system that's run by us, designed by us. We control the data, we control everything and we can make it better or worse. I'm tired of working with software systems where I don't have any input on how it works and it sucks. Facebook. Billions of people, and look at the fucking piece of shit they got there. But there's great stuff there, but they're not trying to make it good for people. You know, human, I, I see software as like magic. I think that the big thing with software is that we're going to start to design our own interfaces. The interface is the key. And software is going to completely change when we get to design that interface the way we want it. And we're yeah. getting it. We're getting it. Well, what I would say is, because I have, I told this other guy that I would call him. Um, um, for Prashant, we can either just have a call with him and you can ask him and figure out kind of what he's working on. And then, you know, figure out which parts of what you have that would be really helpful for to be integrated. And have that as the first thing, you know. Um, I think what would be helpful beforehand as like an exercise, like, are you able to Like, I feel like there needs to be a simple presentation of just some, not the, not the full vision. Uh, not, not, not inspiration. Inspiration is one thing. The inspiration in the showing people, what are the actual, what are the tools? Like say, for example, with Prashant, like he can't, you have so many maps and you have so many things. Like it's just too, it's just too much, right? And they're always changing. So what would it be where you were to say, okay, well, he's into project management and he's building a project management system. How do I inspire him with what would be possible if we programmed it with some of these things in mind? And here's a few maps as an example, just to get someone to be like, okay, I see this. Like I can see how I could use this, right? that would be probably really helpful. Otherwise it just stays more in theoretical land. If we can show him a couple of things, then he can be like, oh great, I can see how this would work. Okay, tell me, how would we do this? How would we do that? How would you do this? You know, I think that would be really a great thing to do. Yeah, I agree. I don't know exactly where to even start, like, you know, in it's, terms it, of presenting what it would be. But it, I think it's more, again, like one step at a time where what I'm finding is that like the best next step is a really good, you know, operational system where you're going, I don't know what to do, but we got to do something that's going to take us to the next step. And to me, the next step with him is, I mean, we, we just have a, a conversation. And I think if her mind was there too, if the four of us had a conversation and what I would want to do is I want to find out where he is at with his design and what he wants to do, right? I, I got to investigate figure out and then go, okay, you know, 
what do you, what parts are you missing? What do you need? Like, I think fundamentally that the conversation types in any software program is again, like the main thing, everything else plugs into that, but just distinguishing combo types again is like, a, you're right. There's, I got tons of stuff, but you got to get back to the core kernel of the value. Like what, what is the most valuable thing that there is? Then that would be great for his system, like personal productivity and project management, conversation types, programming them into your personal productivity. Like that's so helpful. And you organize like personal business services, you get a sense of that. And then based on that, you might do, you might weave in a different divination based on the conversation type that you would having. Like there would be service questions, personal questions, whatever questions. And if that could be built into the system where they're like, oh, okay, like I'm going to be in a business or service conversation boom i click it i do a little divination for it oh that helps me and now i'm prepared to be like aligned with this with the cosmos because at the end of the day we're just we just need to be aligned with god and mm -hmm. our subconscious can help reflect to us what we need to see in the moment so if we use the tools that you've created so that we can become more aligned with the divine plan then the divine is just going to use us better rather than us being confused all the time as to what or why we're doing things right <laughs> well, it helps fun. take the tapes takes people from figuring it all out by themselves well and i i would suggest that i wouldn't even put forward the divination oh, aspect. I lost you there. okay i would just suggest that i mean you're putting forth the divination aspect of the convo oh. words okay can you you're just you're putting forth the divination aspect of the convo cards and i <laughs> I wouldn't even put that as the first thing because that's the place where most business people get kind of funny about it, right? I think the convo types just yeah. by themselves, you know, put into whatever is his product management system is is that's yeah. that's huge. Like at aside from really. divination. Yeah, totally. I think that would be huge. And I think the divination tool would make it so unique, man. I think a lot of people, if it was framed in a business way and like what the value is, you know who used the I Ching more than anyone? It was emperors and kings and uh, generals. Right. Right. Yeah. Like who are business people? They're emperors and they're generals. I mean, that's what they use divination for. Yeah. It's not, now it's become like, I don't know, like, 24 year old girls you know with incense sticks but back in the day they were not the main use case for divination it was people who needed to make very important decisions that affected a lot of people and the movement of resources yeah you don't <laughs> want to fuck it up yeah. no you can't like nothing ruins ruins you like an ill-waged war uh. <laughs> yeah that's a lot of and a lot of a lot of resources that go into a war. And if you lose, you lose. You lose big time. You can't afford to lose wars. It's a tough one to recover. So how are you liking Salt Spring? I love it. It's definitely the place. Definitely the place to be. Nice. Yeah, it's really good. Really good. Um. Awesome. So I'll set up uh, I'll set up a meeting with Prashant. Would be cool to just get if you could just explain, send me an email with just a couple of things of what you think the benefits are of conversation types and why they should be used in a productivity or project management system. Okay, maybe I make a video. Sure, that would be great. Your videos are you're good for that with videos. Okay. So like that's... you could what you you would use the card and just show them, for example, or just talking? Well, yeah, you know, I'll just, I'll make a video about the value of the condo types implementing into software and how we're looking for, you know, allies and uh, people to, you know, I mean, to me, it's, again, it's, 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 it will change how our species communicates once those combo types get into some sort of software program. Yeah. So can you articulate that? How will it, that happen? How or why would it do it? And then, you know, at least that gives me a sense of how to frame it for him. And then we can just, I can schedule a conversation with him. I think it'll probably be like maybe two weeks from now. 
Okay. And, and I hope that Ramayan's in on that call because I think that's a, it's a big call. Because if he truly has like yeah. a good a good project management the system. The only thing with Ramayan coming in right away is that he, I mean, I know he's, he's great. Well, I just, you know, I, I just think it's uh, it's pivotal. It's a pivotal, like whatever I, I get this, I've had the sense that his project management system is going to be the project management system. And that's, that's what's lacking, right? Like the, like the, the connection between projects and communication, like, like there, there's some sort of integration that's going to happen here. That's going to be really good. For yeah. really, for, like, it, like if we had a project management system that, you know, had the, the actual conversations, because it's always, you know, they always use actions as the main thing that moves something along rather than conversations. Oh, nice one. Right. right. And in the, in the forum, it was the first workshop I saw that was organized by conversations. I'd never seen that before. And most like here we have this conversation. And now it's it, it's, it's, it's like utter. It has to be that way in my mind. But I think mm -hmm. the general population, we don't think that way. Yeah, interesting. Yeah, I think we'll have a great meeting with him. Okay, awesome. Okay, Elijah. Um, I'm going to go. I have something scheduled. So I can, can you hear me? Now I can. I have something scheduled right now for me from three to 4.30 on Sunday and a client at five. So it's going to be hard for me to make the meeting. Okay. But just convey that to people. And then you and I will liaison the meeting with Prashant. Okay. It would be cool for that choose a remedy if he had like a home button. There's no home button. Home, but you mean like the actual website of the? Okay. No, like once you've done a divination, how do you go back to the main page? I, I don't see a thing for that. Well, it, there's a new spell at the bottom. Um, I don't see that in mine. I don't see a new spell. I don't oh, see any of that. You don't see a new spell. Okay. I don't think it's, do you have a smaller computer screen? I don't think so. I mean, it's a laptop, okay. but the whole point about this is that it should be able to work with any size computer screen. Like it can't. Well, no, be what, what he said was once the original design is done, then he's going to make it for everything else to work. He says it's got to be working first in a certain way. And then he does that. So it's, yeah. it's, it's not comparable for the phones or, or iPads or yeah. things yet. Yeah. I mean, I might, can. I would probably if we, if you want this to be public, like on the internet, I would give it to a designer and have them design it because Noah's strength is not visual and he's, you know, acknowledge that like openly, like he's a designer and he's a project guy. Yeah, no, he's following my design, right? So I'm the guy you're supposed to be talking to in terms of that. Okay, well, okay. good, <laughs> sorry then, but. Yeah. Well, no, I mean, if you. From a graphic like, design perspective, I would just change things around a bit. You know, I would make, change the color scheme and, the imagery and just like kind of do that. I mean, the the principle is the principle. I mean, it's still the conversation types. I think the cards look okay, but the the actual. Um, well, do you do you do you have a designer? Do you know somebody who might be able to do it, and then maybe we could work out a deal or something? I'd like it so that whole page could be custom designed, you know, by anyone. In a, in a very easy way on their own. Um, I think we, we could honestly even go to Fiverr. Have you ever been to Fiverr, Elijah? No, is that the where you get the cheap work? Honestly, go to Fiverr.com, find a guy that you can find someone that could do this for you for like 50 bucks. <laughs> Seriously. Okay. I mean, what I would suggest is show this to people, shop it around, talk to a few, and then like connect with me and then be like, I think this guy, what do you think? But it would be helpful if you looked on Fiverr, looked at some of their work, 
see some different prices, get an idea, you know, of what's out there. Because mm. there are people in Bangladesh who actually would actually love to have the work. Yeah. But can't do it, you know? I know. Okay. But yeah, no, I'm open to changing the design. You know, it's, it's, it's still just in iterations. I'm just glad it's functional. And I mean, at some point it's, it's I mean, look what you, the divination you got, right? It's, it's, it was that's awesome. The, that's the main exactly. thing, right? Exactly what I need to hear right now. Exactly. Okay. So you got to go. And okay. so let's set up a meeting time. As soon as you set up a meeting time, just let me know so I can ink that in. Okay. Sounds good. Okay. Big guy. I think we got through a big one. I think we did. <laughs> in our in our classic way, <laughs> throwing darts until we're like, okay, stop. <laughs> School of conscious communication. Okay. Good thing it's a comedy. Okay. I'll talk to you later. Love you, bro.